in there. I'm in South Lake Union going to One Medical and I signed up to get a COVID test. Um, I think I'm okay. I have just a little bit of congestion the other day and just wanted to double check to be safe. It's been a fairly slow day today. Well, let me rephrase I have nothing on my calendar. So I'm taking care of some things today. Standby for technical support, which is pretty awesome. But I think people got it. And uh, working downstairs for the moment. I've got Ethernet wired here, which is pretty awesome. It's getting gigabit speed. And uh, building out that upstairs office. <music> January, uh, January 15th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, initially, I, I think when I left, uh, there was a big a big push on my end. Like Things were going really well. I had a couple contracts lined up. And then at the start of pandemic was when people started going, oh, no, something might happen. So then a lot of con all my contracts got frozen. Uh, but I was able to revitalize a couple of them and just convince people to switch to online meetings. And so... Um, I'm doing some, most of them. They're all virtual now. So. Hey, welcome. I am now doing a recording. I wanted to do a studio tour on my home office setup. Uh, this is just going to be a walkabout, and I'll show you just kind of what kind of equipment I have set up right now. My Fuji X-T3 set up um, on a mount over here, and I'll show you that mount. And the audio will be synced in post on recording on my Rodecaster Pro. I have my Rode wireless mic that's sitting in here, so sorry about the uh, noise from the shuffling around, but let's see how that works. I'm gonna unmount this mic camera. Let's give you a little tour over here. So this is a Manfrotto uh, super arm. It attaches to this little column piece right here, the spigot, I think, and there's a quarter 20 tripod extension, tripod head that's sitting on there. And this is just a black towel bar. It's mounted with, uh, some pipes and with a pipe system I can clamp on other clamp systems and over here big picture is my desk setup I built this desk uh, last a couple days ago it's just plywood mounted with um, some cedar lath from my house demo project and so this is important and it has some meaning to me and it was just built out of components of my home and let's talk about the computer setup over here I have my MacBook Pro mounted on an arm that's just on that, that little metal um, bar over there. And that gets the MacBook Pro monitor at the right eye level for ergonomics. Over there I have an external monitor that's also wall mounted. And in the middle is my Fuji X-T3. And that X-T3 acts as my webcam, or X-T2, apologize. And it's an Atomos uh, Ninja 5 recorder there as well. All this is hooked in to a bunch of dongles I got over there. The audio is managed by the Rodecaster Pro that's sitting here. Um, I have the audio going to various different locations. Um, I can hook this to my phone and take in calls and record that as well. I'm currently recording audio that I'll sync in post. And this is audio coming from the uh, Wireless Go. Now the reason I'm doing the Wireless Go is so that I can move around in this little office space over here mount my camera at this point over here, I can mount my camera over here, and then have uh, walking conversations moving around in the space. And then when I'm sitting down, I'm gonna sit down over here, and I'm gonna turn down the mic. And I just turn on audio level one. This is the Electro Voice RE20. 
Uh, this is my main mic that I use when I'm talking or in meetings, um, but it does limit, uh, it keeps me from getting up, right? I have to be really close and talking right into it. Um, and that's just the, the way these broadcast mics work. I can switch over to my other one. This is my Shure SM58. It's a lower cost, uh, but kind of cool mic. Uh, this is usually used for live performances, but this acts as my secondary mic when I'm recording a podcast with someone else. So now we're switching back to the Rode um, Wireless Go. Uh, and that enables me to move around and kind of create some space. So let's uh, do a little bit more of a tour. This is the Rodecaster Pro. This is where I've been doing all the sound effects. I can turn on some music. And play around with different effects. Um, and I really got this because it does audio processing live. And so it does the EQ, different um, odd audio uh, compressions and things that I don't really understand, but it does it automatically. Um, eventually, I don't have it yet, uh, there will be space right here for my ATEM, um, Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro, which is an HDMI switcher and recorder. So I can plug in multiple sources into this camera, that camera over there, and I got a GoPro mounted up there. So all these cameras um, can be mounted in different spots. So I'm going to just put this up here. And I'll switch audio because this one's. And so as I'm working at home, I can switch between different audio sources, play around with different camera angles. Again, the intent is to not have just one fixed movement. And with a switcher, I can then switch between different locations. So if I'm in a meeting and I need to get up and I want to get a shot of that over there, um, I can move the camera, mount it over there, switch it to that camera, and then switch to the right audio source. So. If this boom arm isn't available, readily available over there, I can move to my wireless system. I also have a Rode, um, it's an NTG4, um, it's like a big shotgun mic, and I can also directionally point in the space. Um, I do need a little bit more audio treatment uh, to get the echo out. Um, but this is a pretty cool setup so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be a productive work uh, space, but also just a studio space where I can do a lot of recording and um, kind of create some more dynamic, interesting training content that's not um, just staring at a screen all day long or moving around. So I'd like to be able to do a screen recording over here, switch over, do an analog sketch over there to talk about concepts, come back, demo, um, and keep that content interesting. This is my um, studio space here. Um, it's for my company, 1980. But for this channel here, you guys are interested in the um, just audio and video equipment as well. Um, specifically, I'm using the Fuji system. Now, I will be doing more Blackmagic switching, and so I'm considering getting a Blackmagic Pocket 4K. These Fuji cameras are not intended to be ran for long periods of time, and so I'm finding that even my setup over here, eventually the camera does crash, and it kind of creates a, um, it's a bit of a pain because these cameras aren't intended to be on all the time. They're not production cameras. Um, that's it. I think uh, there's going to be quite a bit of organizing I need to do. i got to get a couple more mounting points in this space, uh, but I'm going to do it on the cheap and just find mounting bars and salvage whatever materials I can. But for now, I have everything I need. Uh, i got two more chairs coming in that will replace it, uh, this old kitchen chair. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you.